Welcome back to the Wet Mammal channel guys. Today we are episode 10 of The Undesirables and we're gonna get stuck into it now. All right, so if you really want these guys to come in on you and you don't have any burly, then I recommend just throwing some sand up and they'll usually come in. They're quite inquisitive little fish. If ever you gut your fish over some sandy reef or on the edge of a reef, these guys will show up. They're in plague proportions. They're everywhere and they're super aggressive. They'll come in and they'll just attack whatever burly you put down. When you're down on the bottom spearfishing, the southern moldy wrasse are often one of the first fish on the scene. Here I was waiting for a different fish, but one of these guys just presented itself for a nice clean shot. Don't underestimate how much these fish can fight. They are incredibly powerful little fish. I've never been bitten by a ras, but they definitely look like they've got teeth that could deliver a nice painful bite. As with all the undesirables, bleed, gut, and gill your fish and give them a icky to get the best quality of meat. They've got absolutely beautiful colors in their heads. The blue is so electric. So there we have it, the Southern Moldy Ras. All right, let's take it to the table. All right, so here we have the Southern Moldy Ras. Um, it's a beautiful eaten fish. It's really aggressive. Whenever you shoot a fish and create some burly, um, you'll always find this. It's found pretty much all over Australia. It's a, um, yeah, it's a really, really cool fish with heaps of blue up in the face. And they grow almost double the size of this, I'd say. They grow to about 50 centimeters. Um, they're also known as a butcher's prick, which I just found out, which is hilarious. And as just a Maori, Maori parrotfish and Maori ras, but I know it as the Southern Maori ras. Today we're just gonna cook this guy up and get into it. We'll start with the filleting. All right, as with all of the undesirables, we're gonna get stuck into some sashimi. So this is the butcher's prick or the southern Māori ras. Let's go. <laughs> That's, it's pretty average. Um, yeah, I'm getting like a almost soapy taste from it. And it's a fresh shot fish, so it hasn't really had time to kind of um, have rigor kick in and become like nice sushi, but it's so I'll ignore the chewiness of it But the flavor just isn't isn't great. So five out of ten from me and that's the sash Let's get into the cooker all of the ras featured in the undesirables from here on out are going to feature the same recipe to give consistency so that we can find out which is the best tasting ras so we're gonna start with an egg crack split not a one-handed split this time. Then grab your incredibly long fork. Right, next we're going to add our fish to the egg wash. And what this does is it just basically tames the fish a little bit with some flavor and it allows for some stickiness to apply our crumb, our flour, or whatever you're gonna chuck on. I'd recommend doing this for breadcrumb and then flour. I tend to just try and flour onto the flesh. If it is a particularly dry fish, then I wouldn't. And then we're just gonna let this sit for 20 minutes and just soak up some egg and get ready for some flavor. So for all the ras, we're just gonna use the Tandako lightly seasoned fish mix because I mean, yeah, why not? Let's go. So it's just bread breadcrumbs and Tandako mix. All of the ras featured in this are going to have this mix um, so that it's nice and constant. And we're just going to take our piece of ras, get rid of any kind of extreme egginess, you don't want too much, and then just cover it and give it the nice pats. Just be sure to get consent before you pat your fish down. And then flip her over get into any nooks, crannies and crevices, again, with the fish's permission, and then onto a plate. 
repeat the process and then we'll fry up. Right, okay, so we've got the wrasse, in goes our lovely fillets. I'm just going to cook it off. Really quickly. All right, cool. So we've come to the nibbling stage, and yeah, we're gonna eat some of the southern Maori ras, and um, let's go. That's really good. I'm gonna give that a seven point five. It's really, really nice. Um, it's got crunch like tandako and breadcrumb. It's hard to get stuff wrong with that mix, but genuinely that's really nice. The flavor's there. It's a nice kind of like fishy taste, but it's not overpowering. The flesh is quite light and it like, not, not mushy enough to start downgrading it, but it's not like a real firm flesh, but it is good. Um, yeah, so that's the Southern Maori Ras. I'm gonna have that in a fish burger and um, I'll leave it at that. But guys, thank you for watching. Stay tuned, there's gonna be more undesirables. Don't know when the next hike and spear is gonna happen just because of, unfortunately, COVID restrictions and work and so on. But um, yeah, definitely more spear fishing content to come over the next couple of weeks. Thank you for watching. Subscribe, like, do all the YouTube stuff and yeah, stay wet, stay fed people. Catch ya.